Two, one, welcome back, asymptotes and functions. In this video, it's gonna be a little bit shorter video, just wanted to let you know about these asymptotes. So what are they? Well, an asymptote is basically just a line that a function, so any function, approaches, but it never really touches it. So let's take a look and illustrate this concept so that you can kind of think about it. Now here is, I'm gonna bring out these three functions. So the first one, one over X. And so if you have this, then what we will have is the following. And I'm gonna to try to illustrate to you what the asymptote actually is. So if you notice here, what happens is in this function, this function basically as you approach zero, from the right hand side to the left, the function just kind of blows up. But it never actually touches the x is equal to zero line. And the same thing happens the y is equal to zero line, which is the flat one, as the x gets bigger or the x gets kind of negative um, and it pushes to the left. So you notice that basically it never touches the line. So those two lines are actually the asymptotes within this function. So the function approaches those lines, but never touches it. So I can nicely illustrate this here. So y is equal to zero. So notice that, so it draws a line for us in here. And that line, which is the flat line, uh, as I keep going, so notice my function gets closer and closer and closer. Now it looks like it touches it, but if I zoom in, you notice that it's never really getting there, all right? And then it just keeps going and going. So that's one of the asymptotes that I have, and that asymptote is basically y is equal to zero, so that's the flat line. The other asymptote that I have here is x is equal to zero, which is the vertical line. So we know that one over x, x is equal to zero is actually not in the domain of that function uh, because it's undefined, one over zero. But I notice that as I keep going, so if I go up and up, so notice that this function gets closer and closer and closer, but again, it never touches the line. So you can keep going like that for infinity and it will never actually touch it, it just approaches it. So that's another asymptote. And the same thing happens on the negative side. So notice it gets closer and closer, but never touches it. So those are asymptotes. Asymptotes are basically just lines that these functions are gonna approach to, but never touch. Here is another example that I have for you, so in terms of these three. So notice two x plus one over x. Because what I want you to know is that these asymptotes, they don't have to be flat lines, or they don't have to be vertical lines only. All right, so they can be just a regular line that you have. So for example, they can have a line which is, has a positive slope or they can be lines which, ha which have negative slopes. And all of these could be asymptotes that our functions are approaching. So I drew this one out. So let's put this one up in here. And for that one, so what we have is y is equal to 2x, let's say plus one over x. And in this, so if I blow this up, notice what happens here. So it looks very similar to the one over X when it gets close to zero. So I have one asymptote still within here. So that would be the X is equal to zero line, which is that vertical line. So notice that's what happens there as it gets closer. So that's one asymptote. Now the other one, notice if I extend this out in this way, Let's do this and then let's blow it up in that way. Um, notice that in this way, as X gets bigger, or as X gets really small to the negative side, okay, all of a sudden this line um, looks like it's almost like going to be a straight line of, within here. And what happens is because the asymptote that you have, if you would plug in, so notice when you plug in X, uh, which is let's say 20 and 30 and 40 and 100, notice that one over X, let's say at 100, one over 100 is 0 0.01, and then the two times the x, which would be two times 100, which is 200. So that one over x 
okay, it starts to have less and less impact on our actual function. And what happens is we actually are approaching 2x. Now, of course, look at it. It looks like it literally goes right in it. But it's, you know, as if I zoom in here, notice it gets closer and closer. But again, it never touches that 2x line. So it just stays above it. Now, asymptotes, so you can approach them, you know, from the bottom. You can approach them from the top, okay? So that's what happens in this case. And these are my two asymptotes for this function. Now, another, the last function that I had here for you. Um, so this one is kind of has an exponent. So two, let's say to the X and here, notice that this line or this function kind of blows up on us and goes straight up. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so as we're going in that direction. But you will notice that within here, well, this is interesting. So it looks like on the negative side, it basically approaches this asymptote, y is equal to zero. And that indeed is true. So it approaches that particular line um, on the negative side, but on the positive side, it just gets bigger and bigger. It doesn't have an asymptote there. And here, again, if I would zoom in here, okay, so you'll notice that as you're kind of zooming in, okay, notice I have to zoom in a lot, but it gets extremely close, but again, never really touches that zero line. So those are asymptotes. Asymptotes basically do exist. You're gonna run into that in grade 11 at some point when studying functions. Now, a cool asymptote that you can think about to finish this little class off for your, this video is human potential, right? So we all have a certain amount of potential, kind of, you know, sometimes people call it talent or something like that. And I always like to draw this potential on almost like a function per se. So here's your X and here's your Y. Now our potential that we have is, it's not unlimited, right? We are bound by something because we you know live for a certain amount of time, but we can accomplish something you know, so our potential, let's say this would be, you know, the 100% mark of our potential, meaning we did everything we possibly could to become the best we could be. And oftentimes what happens is as you are starting off, so let's say this is time t, okay, so this would have been a function, um, which is not an x, but I guess in respect to time t, and then here is your output y, which is f of t in this case, and what would happen is that we would have this and we, we could come very close to that 100% potential, but we may actually never reach it, right? Because we can always get a little better, a little better. So we have an asymptote, okay? Which is kind of, you know, saying that, okay, we have almost like a cap there that we can't go beyond it. Now, of course, some people say that we, maybe there is no asymptote, you know, that there is no cap. Um, but this is a neat idea for you to think about. You know, where are you on this line? Okay, right now, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Can you get a little better? And for like top athletes, what happens or, you know, people who kind of put push themselves to the limit, you know, you'll notice that to get to, you know, almost 90 to 80%, say if it's maybe somewhere around here, around 90%, you know, you can do that, um, you know, almost very quickly, but then to get better, it just becomes very incremental. And you'll notice that a lot of athletes struggle with that because they'll get to a certain point and it's almost like they're not getting any better, right? It takes so much more effort to try to push themselves towards their full potential. All right. So that's asymptotes for you. Okay. We'll see you in a future video. Bye everybody.